Hello Year 10s, I hope you had a lovely half term. Um, this um, session, what we're going to be looking at is mark making. Now I'm going to show you this demo of mark, creating mark making with your pen and pencil. And the next demo that will be up online will be creating mark making with stitch that Mrs Smith will then show you. So I'm obviously going to be working on paper. However, if you work, you can work straight into your books and that'll be the page after your critical study. Or if you don't feel confident enough in case you go wrong, work on paper and then obviously trim and stitch it beautifully in the page after your critical study. So the first thing I want you to do is just do a nice title mark making. Now you can do it in newspaper letters, magazine letters, you can print it off the um, computer or you can do it just by handwriting. But if you are doing handwritten, think about how that is going to be, what font it is you're going to use. Okay, so I'm going to just sketch it out in pencil. So I'm going to do mark and then I'm going to have making just at the bottom here. And then once I've done that, I'm then going to get my pen and go over the top. And then I'm just gonna make some areas and just kind of focus and being quite confident in yours. Now you don't obviously have to copy my title here. You can do whatever style you want. Like I said, it could be newspaper letters, print it off, or choose your own different types of fonts. It's absolutely up to you. It's about you being creative and how you want it to be, okay? So I'll just do this one very quickly. That's Mark. Making. Please do try and make sure you fill the whole way four. Now, obviously, I will show you what we're gonna, how we're gonna put in the boxes in a minute. And so you might then, after seeing this, plan yours a little differently to how you present it. Again, absolutely fine. But the main thing is, is just getting that title in, mark making, and making sure you have sufficient boxes to show us the sufficient different types of mark making techniques that you could use. Okay. So once you've done that. And then when you get the pencil, you don't have to use a ruler for this. If you feel comfortable to use a ruler, then by all means. But I just then want you to do different sizes, overlapping boxes. And you can have some gaps in between. So I quite like some with gaps. Have one here, and obviously they don't all have to be the same size. Now, if you make up loads and loads of tiny ones, obviously each of these boxes are going to be filled with a different mark making. So I would reckon you want to have, how many have I got? That's four, that's eight. So I reckon you probably have at least 10 different size boxes. Um, if you're there with just five, you might need to think about kind of making some of your boxes a little bit smaller. But obviously if you're there with 20, you are going to have to think about 20 different mark making techniques. So kind of thinking about that type of composition. So you can see within each of these boxes, we are then going to then choose different um, mark making techniques. Now, you can, if you want, do it in pencil. But I would feel that hopefully some of you in here feel quite confident enough to do it in pen. So you can do, um, I've got different thicknesses of pens here or in a biro. Um, so you can do it with one um, type of pen or you can mix it up. And then it's about just within each box being quite creative with it. Now also, it'd be really nice if you could just kind of maybe label underneath what type it is. If you don't know what type of mark making it is, don't worry, okay? So for example, here, um, I'm gonna do um, cross hatch. So in here, I'm then gonna fill my box with confident cross hatching lines. Okay. Like so. Just filling the box with these. And remember, the reason why we are doing this, the reason why we're exploring different mark making techniques is that when you come to create your final piece, when you come to create your designs, you want to be thinking about what kind of interesting marks you can make, whether that's whether we're doing a, 
uh, sewing kind of bin or you're doing your kind of laying cutting different fabrics and crossing them over whether you're doing your stitch on top with your own printing lino print on top or screen printing all of these will help you then think about how that can then come together and interesting okay so you can see i just got cross hatching in there then in here i might do kind of some sort of little shell shapes now i'm gonna swap pens and i'm just gonna then fill this box completely with my shells. Now the great the thing with mark making is also just being really, really confident and really exploring different ways and different types of doing it. So the more different exploration, experimentation you have, you know, the better kind of different contrast you have and it really shows that you've really explored your mark making. And that can be through your marks and also as I'm doing, different types of pens, thicknesses of pens that you're doing. Now obviously I wouldn't go for um like a sharpie if you're working straight into your book because obviously that will then come through onto your other page um which could then affect what's behind it all right then over here i might just do kind of dashes all right dashes filling it all and filling the whole box with my different types of marks. Just go, okay, and I'm going to put dashes in there, like so. All right. Then over here, I'm going to pick up a different pen, and I'm going to look at kind of the bark effect. I'm just being really confident with my lines and exploring it. If you don't feel as confident and you want to do it in pencil first, that's fine. But what I would say about doing that is that sometimes then when you go over it, especially kind of like your dashes and things, you, you kind of lose that freedom that you kind of want from your different techniques, your different experimentation of your mark making. Okay. And then I'm going to just write bark down there. Now, you're going to fill each of these boxes with your different types of mark making. Once you've done that, what I would like you then to do is just go over your boxes with your black pen. So even if you did it in pencil, it'd be really nice just to make sure it's really uh, and bold and it just really stands out. And it's a nice kind of composition, a really nice page and stand out kind of different mark making techniques. What I would like you to do, and I'm gonna put this on the PowerPoint is, once you've done that and finished that, what I'd like you to do is just do a little kind of writing, just a little bit, maybe something here or something here. Um, or if you wanted to in your book, um, remember how I showed you with your critical study, because obviously you're gonna do your other mark making in the page next to it. Um, you might want to fold over the middle page and so you could do your annotation for the line one this side and the sewing one the other side which might be quite nice and all I want you to do is just say which ones you like which ones you could take forward which ones you'd explore more and which ones you know you found um, wouldn't give you the best effect all right but I will write that on the powerpoint where you also have this sheet here and like I said you can either write it just around here it's like little note form that's no problem or it might be quite nice if for example this was my book you would then fold this page over like i showed you in the critical study do your annotations for your line mark making i'm showing here and then next lesson when mrs um, smith shows you the sewing one which you'd put on this page you could have the annotations for that one here and the annotations for that one there Again, your choice, your book, your presentation. Just think it through and plan it ahead, okay? So, just a reminder, mark making in the page in your book after your critical study. You can work straight into your book or paper and then stick it in. 
I would like you to have 10 or more boxes presented in this kind of style across the page, a nice title that you either do in your own font, you print out or you use newspaper letters and just exploring different mark makings, preferably in pen and preferably in different types of pen, just to kind of show more different thickness of line, etc. And just write in, in the box, if you know what type of mark making that is, and then annotation, which again, I'll put on the PowerPoint. Hope that makes sense to your tens. If it doesn't, please just pop me a little message on Teams and I can help you and show you that. All right, thank you very much.